But what I want to quickly share is one thing that surprised me most. When I was in that hospital bed, I lost 22 kilos. I was kept alive in a TPN pouch. There were times the doctor didn't think I'd take, make it to the end of the week. And he had those conversations with my dad in the corridor. Yet through all that time, I did nothing with my mental health, nor was I ever asked the question, how are you going? I had so many doctors with clipboards and pain medications and pain specialists and nurses pumping me with all sorts of drugs, but never anything to do with my mental health. And that photo on the right is such a powerful photo that depicts the physical stuff. I've lost weight, I've got my stoma bag, I've got all the scars, but mentally I was so depressed. I didn't want to get through the next week. I'd numbed up on all sorts of pain medications. And it wasn't until my army GP called me, recognised I was struggling. It's the first time that I saw a psychologist in the hospital, two hour session. And see, a lot of people who haven't seen a psychologist or had therapy, they don't realise that seeing a therapist is a bloody powerful tool because I didn't want to be a burden to Amber, my wife, my family. I didn't want to tell them how I was really feeling. But having a completely unbiased therapist where you can just unload and unpack everything you're going through is so powerful. And from that point on, slowly but surely, I started to prioritise my mental health, just as I was doing with my physical health. And that particular quote was something my mum said to me early days when I was struggling. And she said, darling, this too shall pass this too shall pass. And whenever I go through challenges now, I've got that exact photo on my phone in my notes with that exact quote, this too shall pass. So when I'm going through a shitty time, last night for example, having to take some painkillers even to be here, running a bath with Epsom salts, not feeling great, I reflect on that time and I go, bloody hell, I'm in a position tonight where I can stand up here, I can share my story this too shall pass. Rather than going on your phones, going on Instagram, scrolling through social media, comparing yourself to others, I can tell you right now when you're stuck in hospital and you're on Instagram, it's one of the worst things you can do. Everyone's in Europe living a great, time, living a great life. You can't get it, even get out of bed. So what I encourage you to do, I've got no doubt everyone here has their own challenges. Next time you go through something, your own personal challenge, compare another time in your life where you got through something. Relationship breakup, you know, fired from a job, a death in the family, a really difficult time in your life, and go, you know what? I bloody got through that. I only get through this again. Compare yourself to yourself, and it will give you that little bit of hope, which in these times is what you need.